A rights activist, Mary Ikoku, says the high rate of sexual-based violence is caused by a lack of strong justice system. Mary, who was a guest on our breakfast show, argues that for there to be a safer space for women and girls, perpetrators of these nefarious acts like rape, kidnapping and even murder must not be allowed to go scot-free. Plus, TV Africa's correspondent Destiny Momo has more. Breaking the culture of silence and encouraging girls to speak up in the face of abuse is a major safe space attainment. A right activist, Mary Ikoku, talks about the need to address historical imbalance where men think they are stronger and offenders have an entitlement mentality based on the perception of patriarchal society. Serial rapists, serial pedophiles, both scotch free in our court of law, in our courtrooms. And it shouldn't be like that because when you let go one criminal, you also put the, the, the life of another citizen at risk and make sure that even in the neighborhood where they live, for the ones who did not get, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, capital punishment, if they have to still exist in our society, we owe everybody in that community a duty to flag the home where that person lives and say, a pedophile lives in this space. Yeah. Why you need to do that is because people who live in that environment need to know that their movement, when to go out and all of that, that there is a questionable character in your neighborhood. Nollywood actress Shan George says only God can proffer a safe space for women and girls. She, however, advised parents to take responsibility in educating their girl child. The first thing to make everybody a bit safe is to be able to have laws that can punish those people that will commit those kind of offenses. So the laws have to be in place, first of all. And also the parents, you need to really be able to communicate with your kids. There's there's a whole lot of, full of what communication can do. I'm saying that because I'm also a, a girl child who grew up at a certain time in a, a kind of environment where things like harassment and abuse and all that happens a lot. A social commentator emphasizes the aspect of moderation for both genders, stressing on the importance of abstaining from alcohol intake and drug use. I will push moderation with regard to everything. For the girls, moderation in what to do. For the guys, for the boys, for the men, moderation. Because we are just beginning to realize now that most of these things we call unsafe for our guests might be as a result of substance inducement. But if we talk moderation, we preach moderation to our boys and girls, men and women, I think the, safe, the space will be safer for all genders, not just for the guests. While the safe space should be a space meant for and run by women and girls, its sustainability will require the input and support of many stakeholders. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.